Welcome to Cybertrans Transit Board, where we will discuss ultralight rail transit system mobility today and in the future. Cybertran International is going to manufacture transit systems for a global market, and it's the future of mobility. And we will discuss different modes of transportation today and tomorrow, and how ULRT will have an impact on that. Let me first tell you a story. My name is Dexter Vizanov, and I was born and raised in San Francisco. My mother was born blind, and my father left when I was five, and my mother found herself to be a single parent with two young boys in San Francisco. By the time I was five years old, I can show you how to get anywhere on the bus in the city of San Francisco. I know what it means to be transit dependent, and today, I'm the president of a technology company in mass rail transit that is going to change mobility as we know it today. Take this journey with me as we do a series of videos to discuss how ULRT will change our future and we have a system that for once can become more convenient than the car. Cybertrans Ultra Light Rail Transit System is a transit system that's already been built and tested. What you see behind me is our second generation vehicle. The technology was developed by our federal government at the U.S. Department of Energy's Idaho National Lab. It is steel wheel on steel rail. It's a smaller vehicle, it's not a train. Each vehicle holds 20 people. When the vehicle comes to the platform, the people that get on the vehicle with you are going to the same destination that you're going to. If they're going to another destination, there's another vehicle for them. So when you get on, it takes you where you want to go nonstop. It's direct to destination. Cybertrans Ultra Light Rail Transit System, ULRT, is basically a transit system for three different markets. It's low, medium, and high speed, meaning it's an urban circulator. It serves as commuter rail service where it can connect cities in a region. And it can go up to high speeds because it was designed to go up to 150 miles an hour. And it can connect regions in one vehicle throughout one network. So therefore, we are low, medium, and high speed. We are urban circulator, we are commuter rail, and we are also rapid speed transit. We call this the transportation internet. We believe this is our future. It calls for a whole new infrastructure in transit, but it's less costly, and it's a transit system that for once can pay for itself. BART gobbles up energy. It's PG&E's biggest customer. Cybertrans Ultralight Rail Transit System runs on solar and it generates eight times more energy consumed than it consumes. It's because you see you have the guideway and you have the real estate above the guideway and you put canopies over the guideway and then it, uh, it's a power grid with a transit system in it. Wouldn't you rather have a transit system with a zero carbon footprint and less costly to build and less costly to operate and maintain? That's what Cybertrans Ultra Light Rail Transit System will do for you.